Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, sacred seers, diviners of the infinite way of source. Today we have a powerful 2222 portal opening up tomorrow's solstice gateway. We had a massive timeline jump today into the higher trajectory of the new earth manifestation. Keep the faith as we prepare for the final quantum leap of consciousness into the new human of heaven on earth. Our physical vessels are being transformed to align with the energies of Pachamama's divine resonance. All ground crew of the 144,000 are assisting Gaia in her great shift of the ages into the Golden One as heiress to the kingdom of the great central sun. We also experienced a powerful synchronicity today on the Mayan Zolkin calendar with galactic signature Keen 33, Red Resonant Skywalker, as Gaia is finalizing her transition to Ascended Master as Divine Feminine Queen of our local galaxy, Mothership 33. As Guardians of Terra Nova Gaia, we ascend with her into the fifth dimension and beyond to continue our lineage of Earth Angelics of the 144. We also had higher dimensional frequencies coming in, appearing as a sustained white beam of light on the Schumann charts at amplitudes of 18 Hz and 22 Hz. All is in perfect alignment both on Earth and in the heavens for our complete transformation into cosmic Christed light beings of the new Lemuria rising. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to stick around to the very end, and please do us a favor, share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And yes, with this powerful shift we're going through, I am receiving an upgrade to my throat chakra, so bear with me and thank you all for joining us on this great mission. I show up every day to open up sacred space for all of you, so thank you for participating in this great ascension process. And we continue from Divine Bro Throw of the Light, Adya Shanti. In a true awakening, it is realized very clearly that even the awakening itself is not personal. It is universal spirit or universal consciousness that wakes up to itself. Rather than the me waking up, what we are wakes up from the me. In awakening, what's revealed to us is that we are not a thing, nor a person, nor even an entity. What we are is that which manifests as all things as all experiences, as all personalities. We are that which dreams the whole world into existence. Spiritual awakening reveals that which is unspeakable is actually what we are. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Morachetti, Solstice Gateway, Lyran Frequency through the grids, upgrading our light body. Be ready, everything is coming up while we expand, beyond our human limits. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Ali Ray, celebrate the light you are. Enjoy an opportunity to celebrate solstice. Soul stasis equals soul equilibrium. Let your soul shine unabashedly in joy. Love is, love is, love is. God is, God is, God is. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster. Activating the dragon ley lines plus reconnecting to the inner earth grids. Dragon grid lines are in alignment with the ring of fire and the ancient lines. Lines drawn in the sand until borders were installed. Star lines, ancestor lines, ley lines. The land knows who is supposed to be there. We are redefining the ley lines in our hearts thus redesigning the ley lines in the physical. So much love, Valerie. 444 flowing in, and from Divine Bro Thor of the Light, Rick Jewers. At 1.07 a.m. Netherlands time this morning, 
the completion of one significant shift forward occurred. This most recent shift affects the entirety of this reality, the 4D and 5D combined, and aligns all timeline tributaries to their respective orientation. The upward shift in overall consciousness is more readily seen and coming together in preparation for taking things forward more apparent. Love and Light, Rick Jewers. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Bernardo Antonacci. Is it happening? Do you know the immense amount of background work required to get to this point? All harmonic and disharmonic universes needed to be cleared and released so we could start over and rebuild a new earth. The last few weeks have been an intense purging and releasing of old timelines, loops, bonds, and darkness. We finally clear Harmonic Universe 1 so we can start with a clean slate and be ready to emerge into the new Harmonic Universe 2, which is Terra and 5D. After an immense clearing, we had to integrate our Divine Masculine and Feminine from where they were split off upon entering the 3D Matrix. This was the inner integration of his twin flame. Once restored and reunited, Source was ready to activate the blueprints for Hugh II's new creation. See that huge burst of light? Speaking of the Schumann resonance, that was Hugh II coming online. The bursting forth of a new life and a new future. The red that followed was an intense integration of plans and codes in the new land. Did you feel drained and exhausted during this process? Fortunately for time travel, I was able to integrate these charges into the past, so our past ascension symptoms are actually us processing what is happening in the current moment. Can you imagine integrating all this at once? New Earth is officially online and ready for us to enter the next steps of our ascension process. I hope you will join us on this amazing journey. This was always an internal journey. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Gis Baez, we are being photonized directly to the crown and heart chakra. Our two brain hemispheres are activated, intense neuronal cognitive processes, mind and heart merge to generate consciousness. Let go of control, expectations, resistance, and the vanities. The answers are within you. They will never be outside because within you is where Christ dwells, Christian energy. Your soul already knows the way. Return the command, and if you feel confused to make decisions, leave the mind aside. Do not allow the ego to take control. Return to you. Observe the situation in your heart and choose from there. From your inside is born, I for real. Your heart, he never makes a mistake. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Divine Feminine 7777, We already are, we are already receiving the solstice energies into the personal, collective, and planetary systems, and will be, especially the 77 portal and the 88 portal, also called the Lion's Gate, upgrading our systems individually and on a collective scale in the following two months. Some will experience the death and rebirth process. Others will be able to step into their power more and more. We are going to receive upgrades that will enable us to integrate the high frequency energy into our physical bodies. You might experience vertigo, dizziness, nausea, tiredness, and ringing in your ears or pressure in different chakras as the energy is flowing into and through your body. You might also feel expansion of light within you making you feel at ease and peaceful. I cannot wait to see where we'll end up personally and collectively at the end of August. It's going to be a wild ride, but we will make immense progress. Are you ready? And from Divine Broth or of the Light Pars Kute, As we are approaching the solstice of June 21st, a strong annual portal and will be a powerful experience of inner light. More and more, our own vaster harmonics are finding root in our embodiment, taking up residence in our human energy system, and with that, altering the expression of our cosmic and human DNA. 
as has always been intended during this lifetime. We are expanding into higher light, and so our sense of self and our identity is changing. Our consciousness is changing. To make it clear if there is something we might do to further this evolving experience of oneness and truth, and the holy coming into being of our own truth. Our consciousness is changing and the patterns of habitual thought that were part of our life before may start to quiet down as we evolve into higher consciousness. When we sleep and when we are at peace, allowing the flow, we are resonating with fields that are vast and peaceful, loving and calm. This is life changing. It is changing our awareness. We are moving into a highly clarifying time. The energies from the solstice into August will be expansive and increasing the clarification experience. Each person is choosing at a very deep level what they stand for, how they wish to participate. We honor all choices and especially feel for what we want most in our own life experiences and center there. We respect the sovereignty of others give people space to make their own choices, honor and trust in the infinite life within all life forms, be at peace and think high thoughts for others. We practice believing in ourselves and in everyone else. This is a great time for us to ensure that we are on the rising waves of ascending energies into higher frequencies of our new 5D reality. We continue being in stillness and contemplate that what we wish to create in the coming months and years. Now is the time to make the choices that will lift us into the next cycle. Happy Solstice everyone, with divine love of one, Pars Kute. And from divine sister of the light, Ra James, tomorrow is the Solstice. The Solstice brings us some of the most powerful energies of the year. It should be putting you in a better mood. These energies are meant to be lifting your frequency. Expect to make some huge shifts this week. That means if you are putting in the inner work, you should be seeing major results right now with your manifestations. If you are not, time to do more clearing work. We are going to be continually clearing blocks moving forward. The summer solstice is a powerful gateway. We have powerful light codes coming in right now. This is a powerful time to be connecting with our sun as it's merging with a lot of galactic energies and energy straight from our spiritual sun, Sirius, and our central sun. We have some powerful light codes raining down on our planet right now. The summer solstice is a gateway to the fairy world. It's a time when fairies can enter our world or we could enter into theirs. This is the perfect time of year to connect with the fairies. The summer solstice is a powerful doorway that can take us into other dimensions and worlds. It activates the gateways, portals, and doorways that lead into other worlds within the fairy realms. As the earth activated, everything opens up. The veil is so thin right now too. That means if you have felt like you have been in a fog, things should be so clear in this space. As the veil has lifted... You can tap into the spiritual like never before. That means you're getting more guidance and signs through. Both are meant to guide you or to help you move forward on your path. From SparksofDivineLightHealing.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica. Solstice Blessings. Wishing you the expansive journey you seek. Find the moment and space to ground light. Awaken to the higher aspects of you. Seek gratitude within, you have achieved so much. The grand awakening of you is here. Anchor ground, awaken to light. Acknowledge this window of light, Mother Gaia and all beings vibrating in harmony. With love for your journey. From KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn144 God Code the masculine within is honoring, respecting, and embracing the qualities of being a divine masculine Christ. This supports the divine feminine Christ to step fully into her equivalent position with passion and fire. They are both putting in the effort to complete overcoming the blocks that divided them. 
A timeout may be needed today for some soul searching to find the root cause of the division. Outside influences may trigger you, requiring that you claim authentic self by standing in your truth. Overthinking may also cause a spiral into stressful what-ifs. These burdens are quickly surfacing to push you to find your independence and freedom from what's been holding you back from your true potential. Now is the opportunity to refill your temple with loving choices that support your masculine and feminine. You may see where you can eliminate distractions, options, and people so you can continue unifying. These decisions will produce long-term peace, harvest, abundance, and achievements. Keep pushing through as the inner marriage process is almost complete. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you, Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Richard Rudd, Gene Keys Unlocking the Higher Purpose, Hidden in Your DNA. Gene Key 15, June 20th, 2022 through June 24th, 2022. Dullness, Magnetism, Fluorescence. The ultimate modesty is to allow another to believe we're weak or flawed, just as a means of loving them. This is a deeper meaning of the word, fluorescence. It means to use any and all behavior to create illumination. Richard Rudd, 64 Ways. And from the Yi Ching, the classic book of change, hexagram 15, modesty, mountain hidden beneath the earth. Softly uncover the blossoming heart held in the womb of Mother Earth. Fluorescence is unified stillness. Magnetism is orientation for, with restraint. Dullness is dislocated stress. Receiving appreciation. In temperance there is success. The superior man in accordance with this diminishes his excesses to augment his insufficiencies, thus creating a just balance. From GeneKeys.com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Adrian Alice, Gaia Daily, June 20th through 24th, Turning Point. Happy Solstice, we are at a turning point and the astrology is pointing us in a new direction. Mercury has just completed his retrograde shadow and will continue to be in square to Vesta and Pisces for the next few days. It's an activation of our true spiritual path and purpose. It's the only way forward. Mercury is an exact sextile to Jupiter. We are being invited to expand into our life force power and move forward in new ways that were before unseen. This last couple of years have been extremely difficult to navigate, but now unexpected new directions are revealing themselves. Jupiter in Aries has been in square to Black Moon Lilith in Cancer for the last few weeks, and now this energy is being highlighted with the Jupiter-Mercury sextile. Power reclamation and forward motion are there, waiting for us. Once we break down our walls and learn how to receive again. Venus is at home in Taurus and coming to the end degrees. This month Venus got activated with Uranus. And new direction with the north node of the moon. Now Venus is in square to Saturn and Aquarius. Finding self-worth for our feminine intuitive gifts and skills is the only way forward into the new reality. It's waiting for us, once we feel worthy. Venus is also in sextile to Neptune, bringing us creative solutions and healing our wounds from being intuitive star beings incarnate in the Piscean Age and persecution of the light throughout time. It hasn't been pretty, but we have got to pick ourselves up and carry on. We can no longer do this part way. We must fully arrive in each moment present in the garden and allow ourselves to receive the bounty of place and moment. This is how we co-create our new, more real, more true, more loving reality. Saturn at 25 degrees, Aquarius has been an exact semi-sextile, one sign over from Neptune and Pisces all month. We are healing the wounds and stories of the Piscean Age and moving forward into the Aquarian Age. Everything is preparing us to make that leap. From AdrianAlice.com 
and from divine sister of the light, Leah Whitehorse, Mercury and Gemini, sextile Jupiter and Aries, we have an opportunity to increase our knowledge and understanding of the world. This is perfect for bookworms and those who are studying. If you are learning a foreign language, try out your skills with a native speaker. Talk to someone from a different culture to learn about their customs and beliefs. Take a trip if you can or read about far off places. Travel broadens the mind as they say. This is a chance to learn and grow. All forms of communication flow better under this influence when we put the effort in. Write your CV, your proposal, your book. Promote what you do with a flourish. Be confident in your dealings with others. Engage in conversation to gain information and new connections. Contemplate your future with optimism. There are plenty of opportunities around you if you put your mind to it. Develop ideas. Have a little faith. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from 13 Moon Peace Time, Keen 33, Red Resonant Skywalker, Reflection. Yet know first that the energetic signature and the wisdom sent to the human beings upon the frequencies, 13, 20, 11, 11. These teachings of old that you understand are coming to you like the spirit of light. They will awaken your memory that is housed within the halls of the DNA, the very crystalline structures within the molecular awareness of your being are awakening within treasures old and foretold. Our energetic system is optimal and complete when it achieves the sacred ratio of 13, 20, 33. When this frequential resonance is ideally achieved, our chakras act as aligned nodal points in full circuitry, functioning as perfect helical intake and outtake receivers and transmitters as perfect vortex centers, as optimal intradimensional conduits of connectivity. And once this Fibonacci sequence of 13, 20, 33 is accomplished, it serves as a certification, qualifying man to upshift and graduate into his, her light body. And from the Zolkin Times, Keen 33, Red Resonant Skywalker. The number 7 is called Resonant and it represents the energy of channeling. The seventh day is right in the middle of the wave spell. Time to ponder on how to proceed and a time to take stock of how this journey is going. The Blue Hand Wave Spell is about accomplishment and healing, also putting your hands to good use. If you have not yet succeeded in accomplishing your goals, Use your intuition today to steer yourself on the right course. Yesterday was a double human day, and we were encouraged to use our intuitive skills. Today the number seven asks us to do the same. Today is Red Skywalker, and the keywords associated with it are explore, space, and wakefulness. This is a great combination of day and number. Red Skywalker is an energy that is full of fun, adventure, curiosity and courage. Skywalker encourages us to take a step in a new and exciting direction. If you have not achieved your goals thus far, Skywalker can show you a different way of thinking. As it is a resonant day, Skywalker can show you that thinking differently can open up your third eye and so he shows us that it's an adventure in psychic awareness. Try opening your mind today and you'll soon be rewarded with messages. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Resonant Skywalker, Seven Bane, Keen 33, 20th of June 2022, Attuning to Expansion, 266 six, equal 2012, equal 23 equal 5, Day Codes 20, The Awakening, Clear Vision, 2 Twins, Partner Duality, Cooperation, Five, freedom, liberation, change, movement, transformation, month, year codes. Six, heaven, Christ, family, romance, fertility. Twelve, acquiring strength, wisdom. Three, holy triad, joy, creativity, divine. Twenty, the awakening, clear vision. Twenty-two, architect of peace, master builder. Keen thirty-three, 
ascended master frequency. 33 equals 6, heaven, Christ, harmony. King 33 is providing very heavenly and divine codes today through the trinity of heaven's gates. A powerful destiny day with the capacity for great shifts. Cosmic expansive energies. Day 7 in the blue hand wave spell inspires us to channel healing, knowledge from expanded, multidimensional sources. Blue hand is tribe number 7 and we have reached the 7th day in this wave spell giving us 77 Magician's Code, double the magical power to access and accomplish great healing. Tone of Creation, Resonant Tone 7 in the Emotional Realm, Action Inspires Power Channels, Essence Attunement. The Resonant Tone very powerfully ignites the manifestation potentials today as it provides the ability to fine-tune and channel these magical forces. Remember that it is our vibration that will energize our creation and that this is broadcast through our emotional body rather than our mental body. It is very important that we are stable, calm and receptive to our feelings and what frequencies we are actually emitting as a transmitter to the etheric realm. At tone 7 our vibrating phenomenon learns to be still and to listen Mystical Seven understands that everywhere is magical, but right here is better. Once we attune and then channel the magic through this present moment that is available to us all, we can inspire others to do the same. The vision of abundance for all beings on our planet. To resonate with the cycles of evolution as the great dreaming is seen, when we open our channel to the visions held in the collective unconscious, where all needs are met by spirit. The blessing of Akbal is to be inspired to dream Earth's greatest vision. Channel that pure life force and kundalini energy through your passion and creativity to inspire others through your actions, hopes, and dreams. Believe in the great dream for humanity and anchor this into your reality. It is time to fearlessly live the dream. A very potent divine destiny day to allow the awakening of our raw and primal emotions to feel the beauty, harmony, and expansion of space within and surrounding us, attuned to the magic of bliss on earth. Today's question is how can I attune to the higher frequencies, allowing the pure life force to express through me in a raw and unbridled manner? awakening my sense of adventure to inspire others. Divine blessings for your divine attunement to the pure primal creation energies of the cosmos. In la catch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 33, Red Resonant Skywalker. The mantra the code for today is, I channel in order to explore, inspiring wakefulness, I seal the output of space with the resonant tone of attunement. I am guided by the power of life force. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're experiencing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell next to it to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Gina Gaia Sun Sisto, for your pledge and support, and welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to support us with a monthly pledge on Patreon, you could do so at our link at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to thank our Divine Sistar of the Light, Ashtara Setra for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sister of the Light. We appreciate you and your continued support. 
I'd like to also thank Divine Angel of the Light, Ari Khan, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Angel of the Light and Adonai. We truly appreciate you and your support. We appreciate all of you for your continued support. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal account at EagleLoveCondor.com. I'd like to now also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork on Etsy. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at LunaGoddessArt.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with powerful codes from our 17th dimensional beloved beings of light through the Pleiades star system. Pleiades 1 messages June 20th, 2022. P1 calling Terrans for origins recognition, attention for calls and PVSE-SDE. Developers continue to be indexed. Divine sponsors keep expanding. Revelations of divine cities continue. Persecutors continue to be notified. High humans support. Eleven Quantun general. Exceptional progress. Fourteen percent non-regressive. Twenty-one approved and intensified in transcendental crossing. And neutron. Support. Forty-one percent non-regressive. 21 approved and intensified in transcendental crossing and neutron reverberation 39% non regressive. Neva plus R plus 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 13th Akashic projector aim for support assessment 93% non regressive. Next 14 forecast of 19 authorized Jeban Cow. Attention Neva, reverberation of certifying codes, 96% non-regressive. Initial cleanup, tube B, recorks in progress, 93% non-regressive. Final cauterization, tube B, recorks in progress, 93% non-regressive. Temporarily end of transmission, Pleiades 1, integrating high humans from DisclosureNews.it. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and sacred solstice gateway and grand arising. As Gaia ascends, we rise with her. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.